Hey there, this is an introduction about the project that we will go through. In this project, we'll learn how to create a WordPress website by using Docker. Then we'll fetch the data by using Gatsby. So we'll create two websites. One will be used as an API to fetch the data from, and the other one will be used as a static site generator, which is Gatsby, to fetch the data from WordPress and to build the static files. And the static files can be deployed at the end on Netlify. This is the list of steps that we'll walk through in order to create our project. And this is a GitHub repo that includes all of the steps when I create for each step a branch. You can find out the link of the repo on the description. Okay, let's just go through the steps. For the first step, we'll install WordPress by using Docker and install a required plugins. For me, I'm using Docker because this is my workflow and I find it very helpful and easy to create the same environment for each of my projects, but feel free to use any local PHP server like MAMP, XAMPP, LAMP, or anything you want. At the end, you should have WordPress installed in your machine use Docker or any other solution. Nothing complicated here, you only have to install Gatsby CLI by using NPM, so check if it is already in your machine. For the third step, we'll set up Gatsby to fetch data from the WordPress site and ECF plugin and WPM plugins, because the goal here is to fetch the content of posts and pages and also custom fields and translated content. We'll also learn how to use GraphQL queries to fetch data from the WordPress website then we get the list of posts from Gatsby and we'll add custom fields and get their values from Gatsby. We'll translate posts by using WPML and get their values from Gatsby. And we'll create posts and pages automatically. In this step, we'll configure Gatsby in order to create posts and pages automatically by using Gatsby and generate all of the static files of this posts and pages. And at the end, we'll use styled component for signing the website. This is not a required step, but all of the steps here are required in order to create your WordPress website and fetch the data by using Gatsby. 